What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. For today's video, we're gonna be installing a CBI off-road battery tray onto my Tacoma. This thing is freaking awesome and it's gonna hold the battery in place a lot better. If at the end of the video, you guys do wanna go ahead and buy it, check out the description box below because I've linked it there. Let's go ahead and now get into the video and we'll show you guys. All right, you guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be disconnecting the battery, of course. You're gonna wanna go ahead and get a size 10 millimeter socket to go ahead and remove the negative cable. And then on the opposite side, it's gonna be the same thing, a size 10 to go ahead and remove it. Just like that, once you have the battery disconnected, then you wanna go ahead and move on to this bracket that you guys have here. And that's also gonna be a size 10 to go ahead and remove. So I don't know about you guys, but if you guys have ever had to remove your battery to replace it or anything like that, you guys know how hard this stock bracket is to go ahead and place your battery back in. It takes time and you have to kind of play with it, especially depending on the specific battery you're putting in. So as far as the CBI off-road brackets, it makes it so much easier, it makes it so much cleaner, and just overall it looks great. You guys will see, of course, once we finish the install. Once it's done like that, now you can go ahead and pull out the battery and it should come right out just like that so up next you're going to notice there's a tray way at the bottom and that's going to get removed that's just your stock one that you're not going to need anymore as you can tell it's very ugly let's get the new one for the new battery tray you're going to notice cbi off-road makes these bad boys right here which is super clean and it actually has walls on each end so that'll keep the battery in place from shaking around from doing all your little trips so to know how to install this on the bottom end of this bottom bracket you're going to notice there's like a pin there and that's actually going to be installed down there so where you can see his hand at if you guys can see that it's going to kind of slide into that position there so that just helps kind of lock it into place so it's not moving around. As you guys can tell, now it's nice and sturdy. All right, so once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and get your battery once again, and you're going to put it back in its position. Exactly the way you took it off, you put it back in. Just don't smash your fingers like Alex did. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, and as you guys can tell, so now it's super secure and we haven't even locked it into place yet. We just wanted to show you guys, but it's in its tray. So with the old one, as you guys can tell, it has no actual uh, lifters on the side or like brackets so that way the battery doesn't move. It's just literally a plate on the bottom. So as far as for the top, as you guys can tell, that's gonna be the top bracket. This thing is freaking awesome because now it's gonna say CBI right there at the top. It's gonna look super clean. And now you wanna go ahead and get the hardware that came provided. So this is gonna be of course the bracket before just to show you guys. So as you can tell, uh, this other side is kind of like welded in. So this actually made it hard when you're replacing your battery to put it in and try to finick with it and then put the other rod that goes through here. And it was just kind of hard to replace the battery. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that away. With these new ones, what you get is you get two of these bad boys here, which one goes on one side, which is right there. You guys will see it. So one is there and it's gonna go right under, just like that. And then this one over here will go on that side. So that's actually gonna help you guys out when replacing the battery. It'll make it so much easier. And then after that, you get, your, you get another plastic washer <laughs> and you get your wing nuts and just tighten them right on. It's not on. All right, you guys, so as you can tell, now it's installed. It looks freaking awesome. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect our connectors. Before we do that though, we're gonna give it a shake just so you guys see how sturdy it really is. So with the factory one, it was never like that. It's actually shaking the whole truck. Do it again. So as you can tell, it's actually shaking the whole truck. So that's freaking awesome. It looks good now. It's easier to install and uninstall a battery and uh, it's sturdy. So you don't have to worry about it falling out. So of course, exactly the way you guys took off the terminals, go ahead and reconnect them and you should be good to go. Okay, so now it's installed. So like I said, if you guys do wanna go ahead and pick up yourself a CBI off-road battery tray, make sure to check out the description box below and the link to it is there. Jesse. Feel free to subscribe.